Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are into front-end testing with Cypress, today's video is about Cypress Studio, which is currently an experimental feature that allows Cypress to watch our app interactions and write the test code for us. Let's check it out. The first step is installing Cypress, which I already did. As you can see in this tutorial, I'm using Cypress version 14.2.0. The next step is uh, enabling Cypress Studio. We need to go to Cypress config file and under end-to-end -end, we need to type experimental studio true. Save the file and that's it. The next step is launching Cypress and PX Cypress open. Go to end to end testing, Chrome for example, and once Cypress is open, you will notice some new features. Let's create a new spec, for example. And here we have a new spec file with a test. By hovering the test suite, we can notice a new button called Add New Test. Let's click on it and as you can see now Cypress will watch our actions that we are going to do in this browser and generate the test code for us. For example, let's use a practice application and perform a login and logout action. Go to demo application, click this link and perform the login process using valid credentials. As you can see, Cypress records each and every action in real time. Click the submit button and that's it. As you can see, we successfully logged in and the logout button is visible. For now, let's just save the comments. We need to provide a test name which would be login and logout test. Save the file and the test will get started. As you can see, it's been added to our test file and the test passed. All the steps that we did have been recorded. One thing that I love about this feature is that you could hover the test file, uh, the test name, and you will see this uh, button saying add comments to test. If we click on it, we will have the chance to add some additional assertions. Everyone knows as a good practice, every test should have at least one assertion. The test has been executed and this is the, the screen that we see just uh, before ending the test. And here we see interact with your site to add test commands, right click to add assertions. So in this current state of the app we logged in and let's add some assertions. For example, we want to make sure that um, the logout button is visible. Right click on it 
add assertion and be visible and Cypress automatically added a test step to reflect this assertion we could also make sure that the proceed to checkout uh, have text proceed to checkout great we already have not one but two assertions save the comments and our test is complete expand the test and as you can see all the steps have been performed and uh, our assertions passed another thing is that if we look into the project structure we will see the code that Cypress generated for us here we have the option to refactor it for example we could delete the comments and there are some redundant steps in our test for example just before typing an email Cypress provided a clear step but we already uh, saw in the application that there was no um, existing value in that form so we could simply get rid of the clear step both for the email and the password to make the, the test a bit shorter great we have the steps we have the assertions and everything looks fine save the file and run the test again to make sure that we didn't break anything the test is being executed and it passed that's it simple isn't it thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials happy testing